It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and it's the segment that just put on his mistletoe belt buckle. Oh, so he's what? ready for a real <laughs> exciting day. Yeah, that is so wrong. Let's go. Just a little bit of COVID sanity. <laughs> if you haven't heard it, COVID sanity is where we talk about some of the funniest and strangest news stories going on during the pandemic, like this one. You may have heard that Royal Caribbean has been running a cruise to nowhere with almost 1,700 people, which what? they advertised as a COVID-safe excursion. And wasn't this the one where they were, like, trying out different COVID? They were, yeah, they were going to show oh, yeah. off all their newest safety precautions, right. like mandatory temperature checks, social distancing measures, a shrimp buffet that actually they change out in between trips. Oh, weird. <laughs> it's not the same shrimp from two months ago. No, they're pulling out all the stuff. Huh. New strategy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but they had to turn around early when Uh-oh. someone on board no. tested positive oh. for the virus on the third day. Oh. Well, that was short-lived. Yeah, it was. Well, no yeah. one saw this coming. Uh-uh. Really backfired, but I guess they stuck to their protocol and isolated the passenger by putting him on a raft and setting him adrift at sea. Oh, God! Good luck! Oh, no. Meanwhile, at a remote village in Bahran, <laughs> India, a couple was set to get married when just hours before the wedding, a bride tested positive for the virus. Oh. I mean, it's good that she found out so she didn't infect her whole family, but oh. But the couple decided to go ahead with the ceremony anyway. Okay, then okay. never mind. Never mind, we don't care about grandma. Well, and to prevent anyone else from catching no. it, they did the entire thing in full hazmat suits out in a courtyard. Oh. Sweetie, we're looking at the video right now. Digital Jake showing him a video. The bride and groom and the officiant all got in these giant hazmat suits when they exchanged vows and said their I do's. Oh, I mean, they made it happen. Yeah. Wow. I mean, (laughs) it is very bite of cake and can't even taste it. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's going to be weird looking back at that photo (laughs) album in like 10 years or so. And this is not going to help motivate people to get vaccinated against the virus, but Russia is telling people who get their vaccine. Scene, they should not drink any alcohol for about two months before and after the injection. Well, Russia, yeah, I'll go away. Remember, they're getting the Russian vaccine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not getting the <laughs> Pfizer vaccine. It's yeah. because the vaccine is more vodka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's well, that is poisoning. just yeah. Everclear yeah. injected uh-huh. into your body. Just higher, yeah. higher percentage. Well, they say <laughs> the vaccine could put a strain onto your body and then drinking the alcohol might make it worse. I'm sure that'll go over well in Russia. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing another edition of COVID. Finding the not so serious stories happening during the outbreak. And I don't know if you know this, but Christmas decorations are starting to completely sell out, according to Walmart, Costco, and Home Depot. Oh my gosh, oh. I haven't even looked. We need it more than ever. Yeah, right? Yeah. Totally. I mean, our street is lit up yeah. right now. Cool. Yeah. Everybody has the same idea, and now they all say that they made their decisions about how many decorations to buy before the pandemic started. Oh, right, because they probably would have done that in 2019. So now they're all running low on holiday supplies. That's oh, wow. crazy. But meanwhile, the Hanukkah aisle fully stocked. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Jeffrey. Yeah, they have a one for seven deal on menorahs right now. They can't get rid of them. And normally during this time of year, you can find at least one TV channel that's showing coverage of a Yule log burning on a fireplace. Yeah, right. Yeah. But if that doesn't feel right for you, an ad agency in Edmonton just recorded an hour long video of people throwing 2020 related items into a flaming dumpster. <laughs> I love it. And they have festive stockings <laughs> hanging off the side of the dumpster. Oh, it's great. Some of the things that they tossed in included puzzles, oh, neckties, yeah. and cases of white claw. Ah. Uh, oh, don't throw really? those away. Take doing? those out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Alexis. It's kind of like sacrificing a virgin. Right. It's the same thing. It's <laughs> cleansing for 2021. Maybe the Trulies, but yeah. not yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but if that feels more your speed, you can stream that on YouTube just by searching Ooh. Holiday Dumpster Fire. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a little nuts, but you know how Disney World in Florida does those on-ride photos? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Well, apparently, they've been digitally adding masks to people's faces. What? Are, what? Oh. what are, aren't they required to wear a mask? Well, when some people get on the ride, they haven't been. Oh, they, they oh. take it off because yeah. nobody's there to regulate because you're on the ride. And so Disney's been adding the masks digitally to their faces, which, of course, leave it to Disney to take a picture of you <laughs> 
cover up your family's face and then charge you $30 yeah. to get that print. <laughs> Sounds right. I think part of the motivation, and Disney won't say this, is that they don't want a bunch of photos circulating online with maskless riders yeah. screaming yeah. at their theme park. It looks like, hey, you don't have to wear a mask at Disney. Yeah, like, totally. Yeah, and but promote af- safety. After all the news of digital masks hitting Facebook, Disney suddenly announced they're no longer going to be doing that oh, anymore. Oh, come on, Disney. Oh, boo. Great. I've all never right. even bought one of those photos before. My mom would always be like, Neither. okay, honey, look at it. Ah! You can take it on your phone. Mental picture. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Remember it forever. And finally, JetBlue tweeted out last week asking people, quote, where are you flying this winter? Okay, JetBlue, oh, let's slow it down. I know yeah. that you need some passengers, yeah. but... <laughs> people immediately called them out for being tone deaf, and of course, they deleted the tweet. Yeah. yeah. What tropical beach are you going to? <laughs> oh, none? Oops. Why is why's everybody mad at me? <laughs> oh, Those are the Cove Insane feel-good stories coming out of the outbreak. Your phone tap's coming up right